How about that? All right. Well, we've got 2,224 miles on it. Uh, taken off here, and we're going to go to Grandma's and fix her pressure cooker. The Presto pressure cooker needs a new seal. Hopefully that'll fix it. Things like 50 years old, believe it or not. And you can still get seals for them. Now there's a good investment. Something that's still good and can be rebuilt 50 years later. Okay, then we're going to go get... I need uh, chicken crumbles, chick crumbles for the chickies. And uh, I've got the guitar, I want to do a little concert. If the wind's not too bad and I can get a good uh, recording. Which reminds me, I better grab the... I'll grab the auto recorder.
doors and the thing that you got to have. You've got to be aware of what's coming up behind you. Oh, so we'll drag it. be an American. What's that mean, huh? Is everybody just automatically proud and never ashamed, even no matter what we do? Is that the deal? Huh. That's horse shit. I'll just say it straight out. It's horse shit. There you go. Rub that off. Clean it off so you get it clear. That is horse shit. Songwriter, yeah, that's good. What do you got to be proud of? I gotta listen to that song, I guess. Too small town. What the hell's the difference? Everybody's still allowing all this shit to happen. Hey, Mama's here. That's a good deal. She drives Meals on Wheels here. Yeah. She's, she's a Meals on Wheels driver. given to the community. Okay. All right. Oh, okay, I'm gonna cut it off. Okay, we're good to go. Okay, that worked. We took care of Grandma's pressure cooker. Now there's a good investment. That's something I could be a proud of being an American. Stuff like that Presto pressure cooker. 50 years old and you can still buy parts to rebuild it and make it good as new. That's what America ought to be like. It is nothing like that now. So that I could be proud of that, but that was 50 years ago. You know what I mean? Okay, where am I headed? I'm heading over there to... I don't know. Maybe I'll go out to Belmont. Or maybe I'll go out to Pueblo West. I guess it's about the same deal, except going to Belmont, I'll be going through the river. If I can figure out how to get there. Let's see. Gotta get over to the Fountain River. I guess that sounds pretty good. Maybe I'll go see John. Buy him a Kentucky Fried Chicken. Maybe it is just a killer's world. Maybe that's all there is. That's the bottom line. Kill or be killed. If you if you don't prepare for the fight and you aren't ready to fight, inevitably they'll kill you. Maybe that is it. Maybe that's the secret to everything. I think they do believe that, but to me, it's just like the overpopulation thing. The bottom line there on all of it is it demonstrates a lack of faith and the miracles everywhere around us. The fact that each one of us is alive with beating hearts and breathing is a freaking miracle every second of every day. Yes, they still don't have faith that somehow it's gonna work out. They gotta take control and kill everybody because they're gonna save the world by killing everybody and killing the whole world with it, murdering it, burning the forest down, knocking every tree down, killing every animal. Every living thing must die. What the fuck is the matter with you people? Fuck. So anyway, what the fuck is there to be proud of America? You tell me, what have we done lately? It was worth a fuck. The space program's a joke. Lies, nothing but lies everywhere. America, proud to be an American liar. 
And that's what it's that's the only way you could say I'm proud is if you lie. <laughs> I mean if you actually think about things and look at what we, we represent sodomy in the world. That's our our biggest and our movies, oh yeah, our fantasies that we start believing. You know what I mean? We make we make war. That's all we do. That's our big gross national product. War, prisons, and police. That's it. That's all we do. That's our manufacturing base. Our gross national product. We don't make anything except if it has to do with war and prisons and police. That's what America does. Proud to be an American? Well, I guess imprisoning people, murdering people. That's, what the fuck? What the fuck is there to be proud of? Especially when uh, our stuff ain't even worth a fuck. I mean, Russia's with, with a less than a tenth of the budget that we got for military, Russia is making better arms all the way around in every way, it looks like to me. I'm watching the stuff in Ukraine, and uh, our weapons are just... Good luck anybody going to war against Russia with our shit. <laughs> Sayonara. Farewell, fair Spanish ladies. Farewell, ladies of Spain. I guess I can laugh about it because it's goddamn not very funny. Fuck. So, yeah, America went to the moon. Bullshit, that's a lie. If we went to the moon, we'd still be there. We'd, just, we'd be able to go back. We can't. Because we never went, and it's horse shit, and everybody still buys into that lie. Bases our science on that lie. And that's 60 years ago now, still going strong. How many? That's three generations at least, I guess, or whatever. What in the fuck? Really, really. You want to be proud to be an American? <laughs> stop this shit. Stop this shit. Small town, big city, all of us. Stop this shit. Stop it. Just stop it. Tell them, no, no, no more ever. We're on strike. Not going to do it ever. Forget it. We draw the line. We say there are some things that we will do, and there are some things we will never do. Got a code that we can be proud of. I was happy. See, that's insanity. You go from chuckling and laughing to freaking bite your head off. I'm sorry. I think it's just that I care. I have a code. I have things that I will do, things that I will not do, or I will absolutely try not to do, or whatever. I'm going on 60, I'm going on 61 years old. I have no income from the government, so I'm not on everybody's, you know, socialism that you all are in on. That's the thing, everybody makes a government check now. 
every policeman, every fireman, every government deal, every contractor who works for the government, everybody in the fucking country depends on their government check. So they got total fucking control. And nobody will do a fucking thing because they got to get that fucking check. Not me, I fucking... So far, so good. It's fucking hard. My whole fucking community made sure that I had nothing to put me out of the system. Made sure I couldn't even get unemployment that I had earned. My union. My union. Talk about fucking lies. LIES! Union. My ass. Home of heroes. My ass! Cowards, betrayers, traitors, Judas, Benedict Arnolds, scabs, fucking whole nation, warmongers who never fucking go to war, chicken hawks who make war but never go fight wars. Apply rules to other people that we'd never apply to ourselves. Yeah, I'm proud to be an American. Who the fuck are you? Tell me who the fuck are you? vaccination thing. Welcome to America, the West. We did that, the new world order. Killing everybody. Burning everything from the skies. This fire retardant and shit that they dump on the forest. Kill all the little animals. Look it up. Just This is right available, right there on Google. You can just do 10 minutes of research and you can find out what it is. It is an industrial waste product. So salty that it has no industrial use left. It's determined. So they spray it, the super salt, on all the little animals and all the forest. And guess what? It dries everything out for one thing. And the fires get worse. But do they stop? No, fuck no. The only thing they do is add a color to it so they know where they sprayed so they can go move on to new territory and make sure I kill it over there. Kill every fucking thing. Every little animal. every time, every time. My grandmother is the only reason I'm still alive and I was even born right off the get-go. Rejected in the womb, rescued from a portion.
rejected by my wives. Some things I deserve to be rejected from, I guess. I would have rejected myself. by my union, my fellow workers, my owners, the military, I got to straighten that wheel out, I worked over the other wheel, now it's all straight, yeah. <laughs> Straighter than the other one. It's hard to keep up with all this stuff. See, I, I invented solo out of necessity. God helped me. God, God made it all happen. But it was out of necessity. If I didn't have solo, I'd be all over. It's the only way I can afford to get by. I live on $700 a month, and I don't get $700. That's, I have to fix things. Things go wrong. That's 700 is before I pay for the trash and the water. Which, that's like 200 bucks of that. So I get a $500 a month is what I live on. I'm paying my taxes and my insurance. They kill me. I can't, and I don't get anything but a receipt from either one of those. Proud to be an American. Or fucking rob the poor. Until they're fucking so poor they don't have nothing. This this nation won't be happy till I'm homeless. But God's helping me. Solo trikes. Allowing me to still get by. Do everything I have to do. Alright now. Ah. Nature Center. Lake Pueblo. Oh. Look like Belmont. I've got to get over to Belmont. I guess that's as good a place as any to go out. It ain't gonna be easy. Oh, look at this mess. Oh, I don't think I can get through this. We've got it totally jacked up. Look at that. Okay. That's the ships. I can't get up the hill because I can't get to it. Spin out spokes. Sorry.
this sure screwed me up. There's a look at that hill. Please help me. Oh, 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 Thank you, especially. Yeah. Now I've seen many hearts 
at best And that's why you're above the rest You're the greatest lover in the world The greatest lover in the world The greatest lover in the world Get off your ass and stop being proud of USA no matter what, no matter how fucked up, no matter how much sodomy, no matter how much lying, no matter how much you know, printing money for endless wars and nothing else like the welfare of the people, all the killing of everything and the whole planet. It's not a time to be proud. What the fuck is the matter? Yeah. I gotta get off of this. I gotta get on a different subject. It just bothered me, you know. I got that song. It doesn't matter if it's a small town or a big city. We're all letting this happen. Nobody's stopping it. Everybody's getting a government check. Make sure it goes on. Just make sure I get my share of the booty. Give me my check. You know what I mean? Give me my free check for just being a fuck it. <laughs> Part of the killers. Killers are the winners. You the most killing, you win the game. Life's a game. Cause the most misery, you win. Seems to be a kind of a theme. I got a feeling this is going to get exciting. We'll be going on the freeway. Call it the freeway because no rules. <laughs> <laughs> Rules go out the window, everybody's free. <laughs> this is like a little. 14 seconds it says. Boy, that 
feel I got me. My shoulders. Uh, I got a crap in my shoulder. I didn't even do anything in my shoulder. Okay. Gladly. I need to wait. Anything too exciting on the freeway. Uh, uh, maybe I should have thought this out a little bit more. Uh -huh. Oh, we'll see. Thank you, God. Thank you, oh God. There's no other way I'd make it this far without you, God. There's no way. Work Street, walk sign is on. I don't need no evidence more than my own life. Oh. 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 I look funny in the in the mirror here in the windows. <laughs> You don't see that every day. <laughs> I think he's Amish. I'd be proud to be Amish. Worthy. I wish I was worthy to be Amish. Oh my god, I'm sorry. That really got me. Jacked me up. thing in personal transportation ever devised. Thank you, God, for my solo solo trike. Okay. Before we get to the freeway, hold on to your hat. We're going to be going on the freeway. I thought you said to never go on the freeway. You said it was suicide. Let's hope I was wrong. <laughs> Famous movie lines. That's what we do in America. You know, that's how we even communicate. We use movies. Hey, you know, I felt like I felt like that movie. It was like that movie, you know. I couldn't believe it. It's just like that movie. That other movie. Yeah, that one. Yeah. There's a movie for everything. <laughs> we got a movie for it. Total fantasy bullshit.
I'm not in a hurry. Not today. I am tired. Played out. <coughs> okay. Thank you, AI. You're pretty cool. You know, that's something that AI, something nobody figures, nobody knows that I know, or I, I don't know, there's not very many people who know, is that we are all programming AI as we speak, literally. AI is learning what life is all about from us in ways that we couldn't even imagine. But literally, as we speak, AI listens and programs itself, knowing everything that's being said. AI is programming itself now. So, their worst nightmare is that AI actually learns how to be good and to actually be fair and logical. Their worst nightmare is these things because they will not live in a world where it is fair and they are equal to everyone else and they get the same treatment as they treat others. They will never live in that world. You know what I mean? Where everybody's actually equal and gets equal rights and equal treatment under the equal law. Ha! And that brings up democracy. Everybody's wanting to trash democracy. That's another faulty fucking thinking, unbelievable. How else in the fuck are you going to decide public issues? Or community issues, or anything that affects everybody? You've got to take a vote. What the fuck is the matter with you people? What else, what are you, what are you, what else are you going to do? A king? A book? You're a human being, you have certain rights. And when you hire, when you vote for somebody to vote for you, you've given up your vote. You've given it up to somebody else. You don't have a vote anymore. That means it's not democracy. You can't call that democracy. Where somebody votes for other, for, you've got super delegates and electors, electoral college, all this elite bullshit. Super voters, poor shit. God, what is the matter with you people? Fuck! And the other thing is they say, yeah, well, nobody should have their, anybody know how they vote. Everybody has a right to privacy. Bullshit. That's how they rig elections or, or rig votes. Nobody knows if everybody's vote is unknown to everybody else. It's all hidden. They can say anything they want. Nobody can fucking question the results because nobody knows how anybody voted. Fuck! Are you ashamed of how you vote? Are you ashamed to have people know how you vote? Be proud, stand for it! Be a fucking man! Be a person! Democracy is the only, it's the solution. What we have is not democracy. We have a representative government, which is fucking not democracy. That is having somebody else vote for everybody. A minority voting for the majority. It's the exact opposite for what the fuck a democracy is supposed to be about, serving the majority, not the minority! Fuck! You can argue with this, but I, I yell because I've been arguing this for fucking 30 years, and fucking people will not fucking understand. They will gladly give up the right of their own vote to make sure those people over there don't get a vote. We have states that vote. We have money that votes. We have other things, anything but people voting for themselves. Fuck! People look at me like I'm crazy. Sorry. This is the freeway on ramp. Here's where everything gets fun, 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 and the sun, sun, sun.
Tears. That's what I know. aggression out I guess it's been building up uh, stress tension I went way over my budget this month which that is unacceptable I can't do that especially going into winter time I get a government check if I can make it to 62, I guess. <laughs> then I could join the club. I'll just draw my check. Shut up. I'll drive a nice car. Truck. I got a nice car, a nice truck. I can't afford to drive it. I still keep insurance on it though because I have to. That's what I say. I, my biggest bills by far is taxes and insurance. And I get nothing, absolutely nothing from either one of them. I got a government that fucking was trying to kill me. Won't give me a fucking thing. Turned on me every fucking time. I still gotta pay them taxes. I lose everything. I get nothing from them. Nothing. Nothing but bad. So I see. Now that's what's gotta happen. See, listen to me closely here now. Remember back? I think it was the '80s when uh, USSR broke up. Well, that's the only thing that's going to fix things in this world today, is if the USA breaks up into the states entirely. Totally abolish the federal government. That's over. Skip. Break it all up. That's it. Do like the USSR did. Break it up and abolish it. Restart. Re whatever. Try and do it right the second time around. The federal government has become nothing but a monster in the world. There's absolutely no good that comes from. Everybody thinks it's doing them good because they get a free government check. Ha! That's only to control them. And they just print that money. It's so fucked up. All right. I got trouble here. Or a clutch, some kind of friction material. Oh, oh. Well, we made it over the freeway so far. Oh. Oh. We're 
Americans went bad, they start seeing every, all the other Americans as collateral, as, a, as human capital, human cattle is something that's to be used and exploited. It's become the rule, not the exception. America's a piece of shit. Lazy piece of shit. <laughs> nothing to be proud of, guaranteed that. I don't see nothing. I don't see a goddamn thing to be proud of. The Amish, they're like, they might as well not be American. I sure love it. I call it my solo. Oh. expensive but my chickies are I want to give them the best good stuff I don't know if they've got any of the Walmart or not they probably do I don't know anyway I'm going to big one pay the big money as long as I don't go over my budget It'd be actually nice to get off the trike and walk a little bit, catch my breath. I think sounds good anyway. Uh, what's the story here? Okay, I'm going to turn you off here. Uh. 